Okay, hello. Um, this is going to be the first video of a series in Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Yeah, I know the lighting is bad, but the TV's lighting is better. This is uh, old fashioned GameCube style. So I have my GameCube controller. <laughs> now let's fire up the GameCube. Nintendo GameCube. Pretty old, huh? Surprise, I'm still ha still surprised I have one working. I also have a GBA. <laughs> and I now have to start a new file, so I'll erase this one. Just do Tom instead of the full name. Shoot. Suck at this. Okay. There we go. <coughs> okay, you know what? This is going to take like literally 20 minutes. So I'm going to pause it right now. And you guys can uh, skip through this. And I have to stay here watching the whole thing. So I'll see you later. Okay. Mom, don't talk now, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, now, sort of skipped all the, you know, the, all the stuff at the front now, so, game actually starts now. Maybe I should turn the volume up a bit. By the way, if you play this game before, um, there's a bit of a controversy going on. So, and uh, that is uh, which <coughs> which uh, dungeon takes the longest or is the hardest. Um, that's like the that's like the Forsaken Fortress. The okay, yeah, yeah, I think you know him if you played before. So yeah, now you just go basically to the your grandma's house here. Actually, wait. Before that, I'll give you some tips. First one is there is a secret chest under here. <coughs> so you get about a uh, hundred rubies from this. Treasure chest. <coughs> yeah, 100 rupees. So, that's good. And then there's the second way, is, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can do this yet, but let's just see. Just ignore that guy. Doesn't matter. And basically, you just have to crawl down behind this guy. Pick him up. I don't have to just bring him to the house over here and just throw him in the yard. And you get some money from this. You need some good money first to uh, buy some stuff at the start of the game actually necessary uh, I'm not gonna do this but you can also like get up some get some other pigs and she'll give you some more money for that but 
this is a walkthrough, not a tips video, so you just do that yourself. <laughs> and yeah, after that, you just go in this house. And I hope I can skip through all this. I'll probably edit out some stuff. Yeah, this I'll probably edit out. I'm not sure. Press the button right through this. Come on. Oh, yay. Heroes goals. What a joy. <coughs> I should zoom in a bit more on this. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I got it. Screen's a bit brighter. Finally, I'm free. Now, after this, she basically just said this stuff about, like, going to, like, this sword master and stuff, so... Basically, that's the person in this house. Bottom floor. You get to practice some sword stuff here. <clears throat> yeah. You just bang it. And then he'll teach you to sort of run right into that whale. Basically, you just press B first. Just press B, don't press anything else. Hold down L, press B. Next, you L, L target, move back a bit, push the uh, controller stick up and press B. Oops, dang it. nice yeah whatever so yeah you don't really need to do that at any time uh, it doesn't matter what time you do it just I did that ahead of time now next you go pretty sure you go back to the uh, tree house here or whatever it is and uh, I'm not sure okay Another tip, quick, quick tip, more, more coins. Good thing about this game is you don't have to press anything to jump. It jumps for you. Shoot. Okay, yeah, that's the end of video one. So.